Welcome to God's Word Fellowship. I'm Gerald Santiago. The title of our series is Separated from the Mother's Womb. Before we proceed further, let me encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and follow us on Facebook and uh, in Instagram and um, also like all our videos, messages, posts, share them with your friends, family, relatives, co-workers, fellow believers and uh, servants of God and God will bless you. Thank you so much for your help and let's move forward. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory be to God. Father, we come to you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you so much for your goodness and your kindness and your great love for us. Father, you are our King, our God, our Maker. And Father, you fashioned us in our mother's womb. You formed us, you knit us together. You have been thinking about us from before the foundation of the world. And Father, we appreciate it. We thank you for it. Father, we thank you. You have a great plan for our life. And Father, we pray you reveal your plan to each one of us. Fill us with the knowledge of your will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Help us to walk worthy of you, fully pleasing you, being fruitful in every good work, increasing in your knowledge, strengthened with all might according to your glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy. Father, you are God, our King, our Maker, our Creator. Father, we pray for your strength in our lives, in our spirit, soul, and body. And Father, we pray for your strength to move forward in your plan and to accomplish all your plan and to fulfill them. Hallelujah. And Father, I pray you stretch out your hand and heal everyone who is listening to my voice. Father, I pray that you do signs and wonders in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, I pray that your healing anointing drive out every form of sickness, every form of disease, every pain. In the name of Jesus, let every burden be removed, every yoke be destroyed, every chain be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ, be free. In the name of Jesus, let all depths be reduced, eliminated, totally, completely wiped out. Father, I pray for your wisdom, financial wisdom, financial breakthroughs, and financial miracles for the people who are listening right now. And Father, I thank you so much for your glorious help. Father, you are good, and your mercy endures forever. Father, your love endures forever. Father, your faithfulness endures forever. You are El Shaddai, the God who made heaven and earth, the God of miracles, the God of wonders. And we expect to see your miracles. We expect to see your wonders in our lives. Father, you are still the same. You haven't changed. And we want the same mighty power working in our lives. Father, you are good and awesome. Father, we thank you so much you heard and answered our prayers. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Our God is good. Our God is awesome. We serve a good God. Hallelujah. You know, it's an awesome privilege to serve the living God who cares about you. See, that's the awesome thing. If God was just all-powerful, and if he didn't care for us, then his almighty power is of not much use for us, right? But our God is all-powerful and he cares for us. He loves us. He is interested in our life. He is interested in our day-to-day -day life. In fact, in the passage that we are studying, one of the things that it says is that all our days were written. All our days. All. All our days, not not years, not just this uh, uh, this generic big plan, but every single day is jotted down in 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 God's books. Hallelujah! Every single day, we are going to meditate on that today. Hallelujah! See, that's how good our God is, and because our God is so good, He is willing to use His Almighty power to help us in our life. See, we should not try and um, implement God's plan for our life in our strength. It doesn't work. You need to do it in the strength of God Almighty. Not only do we need to find out what His plan is, once you find out what His plan is, 
you need to rely on his wisdom his power his favor his blessing hallelujah and his leading and timing you should do god's will by totally and completely relying on god <laughs> hallelujah that's the only way to do his will independent of him we cannot do anything hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah to jesus all right then let's go to galatians chapter 1 let's read from verse 15 but when it pleased god who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that i might preach him among the heathen so god separated paul from the mother's womb he didn't wait for him to become a big man and to check all his accomplishments and then you know decide okay what can i do with this fellow is he good for this is he good for that is he good for something else Nah, I don't think it's good for preach, preaching, so let me think about uh, accounts, okay, doesn't seem to fit there, let me see if so there is a availability in engineering field, mm, no, maybe he can, is good for a government job, no, maybe something else, see that's not how God works, God makes the plan first, <laughs> even before he creates you, he has decided on what you should do. Right? And he designed you, fashioned you, created you in such a way that you are totally and fully equipped to accomplish what he has planned for you. See, but that's how Paul was. God, God created him in such a way that he would be a great preacher, a great teacher, a great apostle. God made him that way. He put inside him all the inclinations, talents, graces, and even his personality and the way he thinks everything was given to him when he was born he had it in him we are all born to do something we are all born to accomplish something now we, we talk about he is a born politician he is a born tennis player he is a born cricketer he is a born uh, uh, you know artist he is a born musician right you know, what's the difference between normal people and those guys? Those people actually tapped into what God has for them. They found out what God has for them and they started living it out. That's the difference between them and others. And they persevered in it, in spite of all opposition. Okay? So it's so important that we uh, seek God Okay, why did you make me? What's your purpose? What's your plan? I want to do what you have for me. You should converse with God about these matters. You should commune with Him. You should, you should find out His heart. Hallelujah. And you should seek His wisdom on how to fulfill it and go about fulfilling it. Uh, that, that, that's, that, that's a key thing in life. It, it's a key thing in this life and it's a key thing in eternity. Your rewards in eternity are based on how well you do God's will. See, there are two things that determine, two dominant things that determine what kind of uh, rewards and uh, glory you will have in eternity. Now, if you believe in Jesus, you, 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 know, you get saved. But uh, we don't all get the same rewards. See, God expects us to obey his word. That's one. Your rewards are based on your obedience. Right. See, you, if you go with me to Revelation, the Bible teaches to him who overcomes. Overcome what? Overcome a variety of sin and temptations. Right? And uh, so, <laughs> you overcome and live according to his word, then you get rewards. That, that's one, one criteria for reward. Obedience, living according to God's word. The other criteria for receiving reward is uh, fulfilling God's will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. <laughs> some people think, you know, God is uh, some kind of a social communist. You know, right? Everybody will get the same thing. Everybody will get the same kind of reward. No, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. No, the rewards are based on obedience to God's word and obedience to his plan for your life. 
that's what determines what kind of rewards you will get hallelujah hallelujah to jesus hallelujah let's go to jeremiah jeremiah chapter 1 and let's look at verse 5 uh, before i formed thee in the belly i knew thee so god has been thinking about us even before he made us see god plans first and then he makes right <laughs> imagine what would happen if god, god <laughs> if god was trying to create the earth without already having thought about the various ways uh, and right uh, without the wisdom without the knowledge without the understanding and how every all different parts of the earth should work together right what 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 would happen if he, if he was trying to make it without having first of all thought about it and th- th- that would be a chaos isn't it can you imagine a doctor trying to perform an operation on on a living person right without knowing what he is going to do and let, let, let's just do let me just cut him up where are you going to cut him up i don't know <laughs> let me let me just cut him up somewhere and see and let, let's figure it out <laughs> no nah, right you wouldn't even go to the doctor ever probably people would sue them right but um, see think about this god first thought about you planned you and then formed you in a way that you will be able to fulfill his will right when you came into this earth you were equipped you were equipped by god to do what he has planned for you hallelujah i i had most of the gifts that i have today from the time i was a boy from the time i was a child over the years god has helped me to cultivate them work on them hone them sharpen them make it better but i have always had it from the time i was a child and then after i was born again it just went into another level and then you receive the anointing the full uh, fullness of the holy spirit it 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 it, <laughs> it moves further right hallelujah it just went into another level and that that's how these things are hallelujah all right now god does add things at various stages of our life right some some things he will add when you are born again some things when he will add when you receive the fullness of the holy spirit some things he will add as you progress in the plan of god and you have been faithful up to a certain stage and then he will add some more those things are there hallelujah but the the basic gifts talents inclination graces they are already there inside you they are already there hallelujah all right then now keeping these thoughts in mind let's go to psalm 139 psalm 139 let's read the first six verses o lord thou hast searched me say searched me and known me thou knowest my down sitting and my pricing thou understandest us my thought afar off Now this searching and knowing is not like you know searching to find out some uh, criminal evidence to prosecute you no <laughs> this searching and finding you know, a god is interested in you he is searching and find uh, you know getting to know you that's what this one is talking about there are other places where god examines our thoughts right that's different this is different okay right? thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising thou understandest my thought of or off thou compassest my path and my lying down thou art acquainted with all my ways for there is not a word in my tongue but lo o lord thou knowest it all together thou hast beset me behind and before and laid your hand upon me such knowledge is too wonderful for me it is high i cannot attain to it such knowledge see this is the wonderful knowledge this is the high knowledge what is that <laughs> god almighty who made heaven and earth is personally interested in me 
is personally acquainted with me has personal personal knowledge of who i am what is my nature how i think how i speak how i sit down how i get up where i sit down where i go where i walk what time where will i be everything everything he knows about me the knowledge that god is so personally acquainted with me and god is involved in my life in such a personal way that's the wonderful knowledge that's the high knowledge hallelujah hallelujah to jesus let's just read from verse 7 let's just read it hallelujah if you have bible open that and read it along with me whither shall i go from your spirit whither shall i flee from your presence if i ascend up into heaven thou art there if i make my bed in hell behold thou art there if i take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea even there shall your hand lead me and your right hand shall hold me hallelujah what a blessed assurance isn't it this is the kind of assurance that we need to have no matter where i am which part of the country whether i'm in the field or in the city see that's what the blessing is whether you are in the field or in the city you will do well why will you do well because god is with you and god's right hand is upon you it will hold you it will sustain you it will be on you for good eh yeah? it, it is because of this understanding verse 11 if i say surely the darkness shall cover me even the night shall be light about me yeah the darkness hideth not from thee but the night shineth as the day the darkness and the light are both alike to thee okay we have been meditating on the, the this part of it third part of it let's um for thou possessed my reins verse 13 thou has covered me in my mother's womb i will praise thee for i'm fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are your works that my soul knows right well so david by the revelation from holy spirit understands how he has been made today scientists examining the body studying the human body they are marveling at it you know engineers who make great things for a living they look at the body and and look at the engineering various engineering systems and subsystems and and, and they, they they are like wow this is an engineering marvel we we have not come close to building anything like this right now i mentioned the cell you know people today are studying the cell in great detail and as they are looking into the cell it, it, it it's like a mystery and the more and more is being revealed as they are digging into a single cell right a single cell and, and the, the, the synchronization and, and the way they have been made the way they have been programmed to uh, function to rep- to replicate to reproduce and uh, this is like wow 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 the awesome stuff and uh, <laughs> david understood how well god has made him and and he is saying that even in those days when they they didn't have any electronic microscope and on right <laughs> none of that and he still understood hey i'm a wonderful work of god God has made me fearfully and wonderfully. I am a marvelous work of God Almighty. And you should you should believe this. You should look at yourself and say this often. I am fearfully and wonderfully made by God. I am a marvelous work of God. When you say these things, you get the faith to accomplish what he has made you to do. See if you are just a blob <laughs> <laughs> if you came from a chemical soup then then, then you, you yeah you you just do whatever you want whatever comes to your mind you live in the moment do this do that just just, just go wherever the wind is blowing get carried away by the moon you know happenings in the society and you know get a beat live die but 
when you understand god almighty planned you he was involved in your conception from the time you were conceived he has been carrying you and he personally fearfully wonderfully made you and you are a marvelous work of god and he did that for a purpose when you get that knowledge now you have faith to do what god has called you to do you will have confidence i have lot of confidence when i uh, when i speak whether i am teaching or preaching or even in those when when i was working or when i was in college uh, in college i used, I, I you know my professors they asked me to conduct a class they asked me they gave me a subject and said teach it so i taught it in in, in school or college the moment i stepped into it i, I was just comfortable i was like fish in the water it is is just my domain man this is what i made to do it was just so comfortable right i didn't sweat i didn't uh, my hands did not shake and, uh, and this th- no i i've heard different experiences from different people for but for me it was not like that this is what i was made to do i was made to speak <laughs> and so i speak right i i did that in my college i did that in my workplace i do that now <laughs> right and it's 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 when i since i know that god made me to do this it's just easy it's not hard it's not tough it's easy because this is what god almighty made me to do you know god almighty made you to do something when you find that and you do that it will be easy <laughs> this part of the reason why lord jesus said my yoke is easy you follow me you function in my ways according to the principles of my kingdom my yoke will be easy easy hallelujah hallelujah to jesus so know this you are a workmanship of god you have been made by god personally to accomplish his will there is a specific will for you hallelujah hallelujah to jesus let me read the, the next part from other uh, other translations because they give a little better light uh, concerning uh, this passage hallelujah to jesus let me read it from the new living translation You made all the delicate parts of delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. This is something you should know really well. <laughs> I am a marvelous work of God. I am wonderfully fearfully made by God. Right? You should know it really well. I like the King James version in that part it says my soul knoweth right well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. All right. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion. You know, we we get to look at the baby, you know, when we go for the scans, right? We we look at the womb and we see little we have to search that scan. Okay, where is the baby? Okay, which is the head? Which is the heart? Where? <laughs> But God was watching you every bit of the way. <laughs> every bit of the way you watched me as i was being formed in utter seclusion as i was woven together in the dark of the womb you saw me before i was born every day say, say this with me every day of my life was recorded in your book every moment was laid out before a single day had passed hallelujah Let me read that part from the amplified version. And in your book all the days of my life were written before ever they took shape when I said there was none of them. Hmm? Hallelujah to Jesus. Every single day every moment has been recorded. Now this does not mean that they will automatically come to pass this is talking about God has a plan for your entire life right a, a complete a generic overview kind of plan 
and then he has a specific plan for each day each moment he has planned something hallelujah he has that's how much god loves you hmm a personal plan for your life that's what god has hallelujah hallelujah to jesus i want you to take hold of this thought eh god has a plan for my life god has a plan for my day god has a plan for this moment hallelujah hallelujah to jesus and they were all decided before you were ever born you were ever born way before that hmm this faith having knowledge of this truth about how we were made how we were created will enable us it will it will put a spring in our step it will put confidence inside us knowing okay god has made me to do it so obviously i'm equipped to do it <laughs> i can do it now many times people suffer from okay can i do it can i not do it why are they suffering from that right uh, because they don't know what they are made to do right see a guitar is made to make music right a certain type of specific type of music hallelujah and you are like that god made you specifically for a specific purpose and um, so when you find it you don't need to worry about can i do it can i not no you were made to do it by god so you can step into what god has called you to do confidently knowing you can do it knowing you can accomplish it hallelujah learn to commune with god and feed on passages like this study them right you may think okay i, I know i know i heard that no no it's not about just having a mental note or a mental knowledge of uh, about a particular scripture it's not even about having the memory of a particular scripture it's about knowing it so well in your heart having a revelation in your heart and living it out that's the point that's why god has given us the bible it's not just simply to give us some good to know info no these things have been given to us so that they will become our life our way of life so you, now that you have got to know this truth you, you need to pray this out eh yeah? take this passage father you said you made me you made me fearfully you made me wonderfully you have written down your plan about my life in your book reveal that plan to me i want to know i want to fulfill what you have made me to do father i thank you you have equipped me you have graced me you have given me all that i need to do what you want me to do if you would begin to converse with god commune with god about these matters and uh, he he will reveal it to you he will hallelujah and you will be able to do it also because see our sufficiency comes from god and as you fellowship with him and lean on him he will provide the wisdom he will provide the strength he will provide uh, and the wherewithal to, to do or whatever he has called you to do hallelujah hallelujah to jesus and his blessing has been given to us his favor has been given to us hmm? he has given a variety of principles in the bible to help us succeed in what he has called us to do hallelujah be bold about this be courageous about this god almighty is with you you can do what he has called you to do step out in faith find the will of god follow the will of god fulfill the will of god accomplish it then we can all say like paul i've run my race i've finished my course i've kept my faith hallelujah 
So that's the exhilarating life, the life that produces and people want to you know, want to have adventure. Get to know the will of God and start fulfilling it and you will get to know what an adventure it is. And th th that's the adventure, right? Yeah, you get some thrill in, in you know, climbing a mountain or a hill or do bungee jumping, right? Or, 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 or do this kind of sport or that kind of sport. Yeah, you, you do get a certain sense of thrill. But the, the, the most uh, thrilling adventure is actually finding the plan of God and doing it and accomplishing all that God has for us. That's the most thrilling adventure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you. Jesus is coming soon.